Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the CC JAWS wipe effect. The CC JAWS effect is in the transition category, and transitions are when you want to go from one scene to the next. And CC JAWS is considered a wipe transition because it's wiping on something on or off, usually something below it. Okay, so let's build this simple logo reveal animation using the CC JAWS effect. First, I'll create a new composition. I'll go to the top, composition, new composition, or use the keyboard shortcut, command or control N. I'll give my composition a name. I'm gonna use 1920 by 1080 pixels. 30 frames per second is fine. 10 seconds in duration is great. Background color does not matter. I'll click OK. Now I'm gonna drag out my background layer. This is just a looping paper texture animation that I downloaded from Envato Elements. I'll leave a link in the description if you want this exact same one. I'm gonna drag out another one, which is going to be on the top layer. Now I'm going to drag out my logo. And if you hold the shift key, you can get the snap right in the center of the composition. It's a little big, so I'll tap S for scale. I'm gonna scale it down, to, let's try 75%. And I want the logo to be in between the two layers. So I'll just drag it in between them. So now we have this green layer on top. I have the logo in the center. And then I have this light layer on the bottom. To add the CC JAWS effect, I'm going to go to the Effects and Presets panel. If you don't see that, just go to the Window menu at the top and select Effects and Presets. Click in the search field. I'm just going to type JAWS, J-A-W-S, there's CC JAWS, under the transition category. And I'm just gonna click and drag it right on top of this green top layer. With the top layer selected, we'll go to the effect controls where we can customize and animate the CC JAWS effect. The completion goes from zero to 100%. Zero reveals or wipes nothing away. 100%, you are gonna wipe everything or reveal everything below. The center property has this little point control, so you can just click, and then you can drag the point control if you want to control or move the position around of the effect. You can change the direction or the angle, so you can just spin this little wheel right here to change the direction, or you can manually enter in values right here. You can use height and width to get some pretty interesting looks, so height will get it pretty spiky there. You can use the width, go super wide, or go really narrow for some really interesting looks. And finally, you can change the shape type. By default, it will be set to spike, which is what you're seeing right here. There's also robo jaw, block. And when you use it in combination with these other properties, you can get some pretty unique transitions here. And the last one is waves, which is gonna give you kind of a watery wavy look. And again, play around with the other properties to get some pretty unique looks. And to animate this, First, I'm going to reset the CC JAWS effect back to its default settings by simply clicking reset in the effect controls. Then I'm gonna drag the CTI or the playhead to the beginning of the timeline. I'll drag the CTI forward in time. I'm gonna to go to the two second mark. I'll change the completion from zero to 65%. And once I add that, you'll see a keyframe is automatically created. Then I'm gonna change the shape type from spikes to robo jaw. And if I drag the CTI back, move it forward, you'll see the animation is coming on. It's getting to the 65% completion. And you'll see it changes from spikes to robo jaw. And to reverse the animation, so if I want to close the jaws, I'm just gonna drag a selection over the keyframes and copy them to my clipboard. I can do so by going to edit, copy, or using command or control C. I'll move the CTI forward in time. I'll go to the four second mark, and I'm just going to paste the keyframes, so edit, paste or command or control V. And with the keyframe selected, I'm just going to right click on one of the keyframes, go to keyframe assistant and choose time reverse keyframes. So now the animation is going to come on. So the jaws are opening. It's gonna hold for a little while and then they're going to close. And if you wanted to change the shape types, maybe while it's holding, you just drag the CTI to where you wanna change the shape type and you can just change it to one of the other shape types. So now it comes on, holds for a little bit, changes some shape types up top, and then the jaws are going to close. And that is how to use the not so scary CC Jaws Transition Wipe Effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.